Chinese characters simplified Chinese, Hanzi traditional Chinese, Hanzi pinyin, Hanzi, literally, Han characters, are logograms developed for the writing of Chinese. They have been adapted to write a number of other Asian languages. They remain a key component of the Japanese writing system where they are known as kanji and are occasionally used in the writing of Korean where they are known as hanja. They were formerly used in Vietnamese in a system known as Chu Nam and Zhuang in a system known as Sandip. Collectively, they are known as CJK characters. Vietnamese is sometimes also included, making the abbreviation CJKV. Chinese characters constitute the oldest continuously used system of writing in the world. By virtue of their widespread current use in East Asia, and historic use throughout the Sinosphere, Chinese characters are among the most widely adopted writing systems in the world by number of users. Chinese characters number in the tens of thousands, though most of them are minor graphic variants encountered only in historical texts. Studies in China have shown that functional literacy in written Chinese requires a knowledge of between 3 and 4,000 characters. In Japan, 2,136 are taught through secondary school the Joyo Kanji, hundreds more are in everyday use. Due to post-World War II simplifications of kanji in Japan as well as the post-World War II simplifications of characters in China, the Chinese characters used in Japan today are distinct from those used in China in several respects. There are various national standard lists of characters, forms, and pronunciations. Simplified forms of certain characters are used in mainland China, Singapore, and Malaysia. The corresponding traditional characters are used in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and to a limited extent in South Korea. In Japan, common characters are written in post-World War II Japan-specific simplified forms shinjitai, which are usually closer to traditional forms than Chinese simplifications are, while uncommon characters are written in Japanese traditional forms kaiyujitai, which are virtually identical to Chinese traditional forms. Interestingly enough, many Chinese simplified forms were copied from shinjitai forms. In South Korea, when Chinese characters are used, they are in traditional form, essentially identical to those used in Taiwan and Hong Kong where the official writing system is traditional Chinese. Teaching of Chinese characters in South Korea starts in the 7th grade and continues until the 12th grade. A total of 1,800 characters are taught, though these characters are used only in certain cases on names, signs, academic papers, historical writings, etc. and are slowly declining in use as native alphabetical Hangul supplanted them in most aspects of Korean society. In Old Chinese including Classical Chinese, most words were monosyllabic and there was a close correspondence between characters and words. In Modern Chinese, the majority of Chinese words today consist of two or more characters. Rather, a character almost always corresponds to a single syllable that is also a morpheme. However, there are a few exceptions to this general correspondence, including bisyllabic morphemes written with two characters, bimorphemic syllables written with two characters, and cases where a single character represents a polysyllabic word or phrase. Modern Chinese has many homophones, thus the same spoken syllable may be represented by many characters depending on meaning. A single character may also have a range of meanings or sometimes quite distinct meanings. Occasionally these correspond to different pronunciations. Cognates in the several varieties of Chinese are generally written with the same character. They typically have similar meanings, but often quite different pronunciations. In other languages, most significantly today in Japanese and sometimes in Korean, characters are used to represent Chinese loanwords, to represent native words independently of the Chinese pronunciation e.g., kunyomi in Japanese, and as purely phonetic elements based on their pronunciation in the historical variety of Chinese from which they were acquired. These foreign adaptations of Chinese pronunciation are known as Sino-Xenic pronunciations and have been useful in the reconstruction of Middle Chinese. Function When the script was first used in the late 2nd millennium BC, words of Old Chinese were generally monosyllabic, and each character denoted a single word. Increasing numbers of polysyllabic words have entered the language from the Western Zhou period to the present day. It is estimated that about 25-30% of the vocabulary of classic texts from the Warring States period was polysyllabic, though these words were used far less commonly than monosyllables, which accounted for 80-90% of occurrences in these texts. 
The process has accelerated over the centuries as phonetic change has increased the number of homophones. It has been estimated that over two-thirds of the 3,000 most common words in modern standard Chinese are polysyllables, the vast majority of those being disyllables. The most common process has been to form compounds of existing words, written with the characters of the constituent words. Words have also been created by adding affixes, reduplication and borrowing from other languages. Polysyllabic words are generally written with one character per syllable. In most cases the character denotes a morpheme descended from an old Chinese word. Many characters have multiple readings, with instances denoting different morphemes, sometimes with different pronunciations. In modern standard Chinese, one-fifth of the 2,400 most common characters have multiple pronunciations. For the 500 most common characters, the proportion rises to 30%. Often these readings are similar in sound and related in meaning. In the Old Chinese period, affixes could be added to a word to form a new word, which was often written with the same character. In many cases the pronunciations diverged due to subsequent sound change. For example, many additional readings have the Middle Chinese departing tone, the major source of the fourth tone in modern Standard Chinese. Scholars now believe that this tone is the reflex of an Old Chinese asterisk s suffix, with a range of semantic functions. For example, Chuan Chuan has readings OC asterisk drone greater than MC driwen greater than mod Chuan to transmit and asterisk drijons greater than driven greater than Zhuan a record. Middle Chinese forms are given in Baxter's transcription, in which H denotes the departing tone. Mo has readings asterisk maj greater than ma greater than mo to grind and asterisk majs greater than ma greater than mo grindstone. Su has readings asterisk sjuk greater than sjuwk greater than su to stay overnight and asterisk shooks greater than sjuwh greater than shu celestial mansion. Shuo Shuo has readings asterisk hljot greater than siwet greater than shuo speak and asterisk hl jots greater than siwedge greater than shui exhort. Another common alternation is between voiced and voiceless initials, though the voicing distinction has disappeared on most modern varieties. This is believed to reflect an ancient prefix, but scholars disagree on whether the voiced or voiceless form is the original root. For example, Gn Gn has readings asterisk kens greater than ken greater than Gn to see and asterisk gens greater than hen greater than xian to appear. Bai Bai has readings asterisk prats greater than pi jh greater than bai to defeat and asterisk brats greater than bai jh greater than bai to be defeated. In this case the pronunciations have converged in standard Chinese, but not in some other varieties. J has readings asterisk tjat greater than siat greater than j to bend and asterisk djat greater than ziat greater than she to break by bending. Topic: Principles of formation. Chinese characters represent words of the language using several strategies. A few characters, including some of the most commonly used, were originally pictograms, which depicted the objects denoted, or ideograms, in which meaning was expressed iconically. The vast majority were written using the rebus principle, in which a character for a similarly sounding word was either simply borrowed or more commonly extended with a disambiguating semantic marker to form a phono-semantic compound character, the traditional six-fold classification lu -shu, lu -shu, lu -shu, six writings was first described by the scholar Xu Shen in the postface of his dictionary Shuowen Jiezi in 100 AD. While this analysis is sometimes problematic and arguably fails to reflect the complete nature of the Chinese writing system, it has been perpetuated by its long history and pervasive use. Pictograms <inaudible> 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 Shang Xing Zi Shang Xing Zi pictograms make up only a small portion of Chinese characters. Characters in this class derive from pictures of the objects they denote. Over time they have been standardized, simplified, and stylized to make them easier to write, and their derivation is therefore not always obvious. Examples include Ri Ri for sun, Yu Yu for moon, and Mu Mu for tree, or wood. 
There is no concrete number for the proportion of modern characters that are pictographic in nature, however, Xu Shen placed approximately 4% of characters in this category. Simple ideograms Ji Shi Zi Jishitsi also called simple indicatives, this small category contains characters that are direct iconic illustrations. Examples include Shang Shang, up, and Sha Sha, down, originally a dot above and below a line. Topic: <laughs> Compound ideograms. Wei Yi Zi Wei Yi Zi Wei Yi Zi also translated as logical aggregates or associative compounds. These characters have been interpreted as combining two or more pictographic or ideographic characters to suggest a third meaning. Commonly cited examples include Shu, rest, composed of the pictograms Ren, person, and Mu, tree, and Hao, good, composed of Nu, woman, and Zi, child. Xu Shen placed approximately 13% of characters in this category, but many of his examples are now believed to be phono-semantic compounds whose origin has been obscured by subsequent changes in their form. Peter Budberg and William Boltz go so far as to deny that any of the compound characters devised in ancient times were of this type, maintaining that now lost secondary readings are responsible for the apparent absence of phonetic indicators, but their arguments have been rejected by other scholars. In contrast, ideographic compounds are common among characters coined in Japan. Also, a few characters coined in China in modern times, such as bow platinum, white metal, see chemical elements in East Asian languages, belong to this category. Topic: <laughs> Rebus. Jia Jia Zi Jia Jiaso called borrowings or phonetic loan characters. The rebus category covers cases where an existing character is used to represent an unrelated word with similar or identical pronunciation. Sometimes the old meaning is then lost completely, as with characters such as ZZ, which has lost its original meaning of nose completely and exclusively means oneself, or Wan Wan, which originally meant scorpion, but is now used only in the sense of 10,000. Rebus was pivotal in the history of writing in China insofar as it represented the stage at which logographic writing could become purely phonetic phonographic. Chinese characters used purely for their sound values are attested in the Chun Chu Chun Chu and Zan Guo Zan Guo manuscripts, in which Ji Shi was used to write Shi Shi and vice versa, just lines apart. The same happened with Xiao Xiao for Zhao Zhao, with the characters in question being homophonous or nearly homophonous at the time. Topic. Phono semantic compounds Xing Sheng Zi Xing Sheng Zi Xing Sheng Zi Semantic phonetic compounds or pictophonetic compounds are by far the most numerous characters. These characters are composed of two parts, one of a limited set of characters, the semantic indicator, often graphically simplified, which suggests the general meaning of the compound character, and another character, the phonetic indicator, whose pronunciation suggests the pronunciation of the compound character. In most cases, the semantic indicator is also the radical under which the character is listed in dictionaries. Examples are hey hey, river, hu hu, lake, lu lu, stream. Chong Chong, Surge, Wa Wa, Slippery. All these characters have on the left a radical of three short strokes, Shui, which is a reduced form of the character Shui Shui, meaning water, indicating that the character has a semantic connection with water. The right hand side in each case is a phonetic indicator. For example, in the case of Chong Chong, Old Chinese asterisk Liu, Surge. The phonetic indicator is Zhang Zhang, Old Chinese asterisk K Liu, which by itself means middle. In this case, it can be seen that the pronunciation of the character is slightly different from that of its phonetic indicator. The effect of historical sound change means that the composition of such characters can sometimes seem arbitrary today. Xu Shen c. 100 AD placed approximately 82% of characters into this category, while in the Kangxi Dictionary 1716 AD the number is closer to 90%, due to the extremely productive use of this technique to extend the Chinese vocabulary. 
The Chu Nam characters of Vietnam were created using this principle. This method is used to form new characters, for example Bu, Pi Bu, plutonium, is the metal radical Jin Jin plus the phonetic component Bu Bu, described in Chinese as, Bu gives sound, Jin gives meaning. Many Chinese names of elements in the periodic table and many other chemistry-related characters were formed this way. In fact, it is possible to tell from a Chinese periodic table at a glance which elements are metal, jin solid nonmetal, stone, liquid, shui or gas. Occasionally a bisyllabic word is written with two characters that contain the same radical, as in hu die hu die, butterfly, where both characters have the insect radical chong. A notable example is pipa, a Chinese lute, also a fruit, the loquat, of similar shape, originally written as pi ba with the hand radical, shou referring to the down and up strokes when playing this instrument, which was then changed to pi pa, tree radical mu, which is still used for the fruit, while the character was changed to pi pa when referring to the instrument radical way. In other cases a compound word may coincidentally share a radical without this being meaningful. Topic. Transformed cognates Zhuan Zhu Zi Zhuan Zhu Zi Zhenzhuzi's smallest category of characters is also the least understood. In the postface to the Shuowen Jiezi, Xu Shen gave as an example the characters Kao Kao to verify, and Lao Lao old", which had similar Old Chinese pronunciations asterisk ku and asterisk si ru respectively and may once have been the same word, meaning elderly person but became lexicalized into two separate words. The term does not appear in the body of the dictionary, and is often omitted from modern systems. History Legendary origins According to legend, Chinese characters were invented by Kang Ji, a bureaucrat under the legendary Yellow Emperor. Inspired by his study of the animals of the world, the landscape of the earth and the stars in the sky, Kang Ji is said to have invented symbols called Zi, Zi the first Chinese characters. The legend relates that on the day the characters were created, people heard ghosts wailing and saw crops falling like rain. Early sign use In recent decades, a series of inscribed graphs and pictures have been found at Neolithic sites in China, including Jiahu c. 6500 BC, Dadawan and Damati from the 6th millennium BC, and Banpo 5th millennium BC. .Often these finds are accompanied by media reports that push back the purported beginnings of Chinese writing by thousands of years. However, because these marks occur singly, without any implied context, and are made crudely and simply, Chu Zigui concluded that, "...we do not have any basis for stating that these constituted writing nor is there reason to conclude that they were ancestral to Shang Dynasty Chinese characters." They do however demonstrate a history of sign use in the Yellow River Valley during the Neolithic through to the Shang period. Oracle bone script The earliest confirmed evidence of the Chinese script yet discovered is the body of inscriptions carved on oracle bones from the late Shang dynasty c. 1200–1050 BC. In 1899, pieces of these bones were being sold as dragon bones for medicinal purposes, when scholars identified the symbols on them as Chinese writing. By 1928, the source of the bones had been traced to a village near Anyang in Henan Province, which was excavated by the Academia Sinica between 1928 and 1937. Over 150,000 fragments have been found. Oracle bone inscriptions are records of divinations performed in communication with royal ancestral spirits. The shortest are only a few characters long, while the longest are 30 to 40 characters in length. The Shang king would communicate with his ancestors on topics relating to the royal family, military success, weather forecasting, ritual sacrifices, and related topics by means of scapulum and sea, and the answers would be recorded on the divination material itself. The oracle bone script is a well developed writing system, suggesting that the Chinese script's origins may lie earlier than the late 2nd millennium BC. 
Although these divinatory inscriptions are the earliest surviving evidence of ancient Chinese writing, it is widely believed that writing was used for many other non-official purposes, but that the materials upon which non-divinatory writing was done, likely wood and bamboo, were less durable than bone and shell and have since decayed away. Bronze Age, parallel script forms and gradual evolution The traditional picture of an orderly series of scripts, each one invented suddenly and then completely displacing the previous one, has been conclusively demonstrated to be fiction by the archaeological finds and scholarly research of the later 20th and early 21st centuries. Gradual evolution and the coexistence of two or more scripts was more often the case. As early as the Shang dynasty, oracle bone script coexisted as a simplified form alongside the normal script of bamboo books preserved in typical bronze inscriptions, as well as the extra elaborate pictorial forms often clan emblems found on many bronzes. Based on studies of these bronze inscriptions, it is clear that, from the Shang dynasty writing to that of the Western Zhou and early Eastern Zhou, the mainstream script evolved in a slow, unbroken fashion, until assuming the form that is now known as seal script in the late Eastern Zhou in the state of Qin, without any clear line of division. Meanwhile, other scripts had evolved, especially in the eastern and southern areas during the late Zhou dynasty, including regional forms, such as the Guan ancient forms. Of the Eastern Warring States preserved as variant forms in the Han Dynasty character dictionary Shuowen Jiezi, as well as decorative forms such as bird and insect scripts. <laughs> Unification, seal script, vulgar writing and proto-clerical Seal script, which had evolved slowly in the state of Qin during the Eastern Zhou dynasty, became standardized and adopted as the formal script for all of China in the Qin dynasty leading to a popular misconception that it was invented at that time, and was still widely used for decorative engraving and seals name chops, or signets in the Han dynasty period. However, despite the Qin script standardization, more than one script remained in use at the time. For example, a little-known, rectilinear and roughly executed kind of common vulgar writing had for centuries coexisted with the more formal seal script in the Qin state, and the popularity of this vulgar writing grew as the use of writing itself became more widespread. By the Warring States period, an immature form of clerical script called early clerical or proto-clerical had already developed in the state of Qin based upon this vulgar writing, and with influence from seal script as well. The coexistence of the three scripts, small seal, vulgar and proto-clerical, with the latter evolving gradually in the Qin to early Han dynasties into clerical script, runs counter to the traditional belief that the Qin dynasty had one script only, and that clerical script was suddenly invented in the early Han dynasty from the small seal script. <laughs> Han dynasty Proto-clerical evolving to clerical Proto-clerical script, which had emerged by the time of the Warring States period from vulgar Qin writing, matured gradually, and by the early Western Han period, it was little different from that of the Qin. Recently discovered bamboo slips show the script becoming mature clerical script by the middle to late reign of Emperor Wu of the Western Han, who ruled from 141 to 87 BC. Topic. Clerical and clerical cursive Contrary to the popular belief of there being only one script per period, there were in fact multiple scripts in use during the Han period. Although mature clerical script, also called ba fen script, was dominant at that time, an early type of cursive script was also in use by the Han by at least as early as 24 BC during the very late Western Han period, incorporating cursive forms popular at the time, well as many elements from the vulgar writing of the warring state of Qin. By around the time of the Eastern Jin Dynasty, this Han cursive became known as Zhang Sao Zhang Sao, also known as Li Sao, Li Sao Li Sao today, or in English sometimes clerical cursive, ancient cursive, or draft cursive. Some believe that the name, based on Zhang Zhang meaning orderly, arose because the script was a more orderly form of cursive than the modern form, which emerged during the Eastern Jin Dynasty and is still in use today, called Jin Sao Jinkao or modern cursive. 
Topic: <laughs> Neoclerical Around the Mid-Eastern Han period, a simplified and easier-to-write form of clerical script appeared, which Chu terms neoclerical. Xin li ti, xin li ti, xin li ti. By the late Eastern Han, this had become the dominant daily script, although the formal, mature bafen ba clerical script remained in use for formal works such as engraved stelae. Chu describes this neo-clerical script as a transition between clerical and regular script, and it remained in use through the Cao Wei and Jin dynasties. Topic. Semi-cursive By the late Eastern Han period, an early form of semi-cursive script appeared, developing out of a cursively written form of neoclerical script and simple cursive. This semi-cursive script was traditionally attributed to Lu de Sheng C. 147-188 AD, although such attributions refer to early masters of a script rather than to their actual inventors, since the scripts generally evolved into being over time. Chu gives examples of early semi-cursive script, showing that it had popular origins rather than being purely Lu's invention. <laughs> Way to Jin period <laughs> Regular script Regular script has been attributed to Zhang Yao, of the Eastern Han to Cao Wei period c. 151-230 AD, who has been called the father of regular script. However, some scholars postulate that one person alone could not have developed a new script which was universally adopted, but could only have been a contributor to its gradual formation. The earliest surviving pieces written in regular script are copies of Yao's works, including at least one copied by Wang Shiji. This new script, which is the dominant modern Chinese script, developed out of a neatly written form of early semi-cursive, with addition of the pause dun 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 technique to end horizontal strokes, plus heavy tails on strokes which are written to the downward right diagonal. Thus, early regular script emerged from a neat, formal form of semi-cursive, which had itself emerged from neoclerical a simplified, convenient form of clerical script. It then matured further in the Eastern Jin dynasty in the hands of the Sage of Calligraphy, Wang Shiji, and his son Wang Xianji. It was not, however, in widespread use at that time, and most writers continued using neoclerical, or a somewhat semi-cursive form of it, for daily writing, while the conservative Bafin clerical script remained in use on some stelae, alongside some semi-cursive, but primarily neoclerical. <laughs> Modern cursive Meanwhile, modern cursive script slowly emerged from the clerical cursive script during the Cao Wei to Jin period, under the influence of both semi-cursive and the newly emerged regular script. Cursive was formalized in the hands of a few master calligraphers, the most famous and influential of whom was Wang Shiji. <laughs> Dominance and maturation of regular script It was not until the northern and southern dynasties that regular script rose to dominant status. During that period, regular script continued evolving stylistically, reaching full maturity in the early Tang dynasty. Some call the writing of the early Tang calligrapher Uyang Shuan the first mature regular script. After this point, although developments in the art of calligraphy and in character simplification still lay ahead, there were no more major stages of evolution for the mainstream script. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history Although most of the simplified Chinese characters in use today are the result of the works moderated by the government of the People's Republic of China in the 1950s and 60s, character simplification predates the Republic's formation in 1949. One of the earliest proponents of character simplification was Lu Fei Kui, who proposed in 1909 that simplified characters should be used in education. In the years following the May Fourth Movement in 1919, many anti-imperialist Chinese intellectuals sought ways to modernize China. In the 1930s and 1940s, discussions on character simplification took place within the Kuomintang government, and many Chinese intellectuals and writers have long maintained that character simplification would help boost literacy in China. 
In many world languages, literacy has been promoted as a justification for spelling reforms. The People's Republic of China issued its first round of official character simplifications in two documents, the first in 1956 and the second in 1964. In the 1950s and 1960s, while confusion about simplified characters was still rampant, transitional characters that mixed simplified parts with yet to be simplified parts of characters together appeared briefly, then disappeared. Han unification was an effort by the authors of Unicode and the Universal Character Set to map multiple character sets of the so-called CJK languages Chinese, Japanese, Korean into a single set of unified characters and was completed for the purposes of Unicode in 1991 Unicode 1.0. Apart from Chinese ones, Korean, Japanese and Vietnamese normative medium of record keeping, written historical narratives and official communication are in adaptations and variations of Chinese script. Adaptation to other languages The Chinese script spread to Korea together with Buddhism from the 2nd century BC to 5th century AD the Japanese kanji were adopted for recording the Japanese language from the 5th century AD. Chinese characters were first used in Vietnam during the millennium of Chinese rule starting in 111 BC. They were used to write classical Chinese and adapted around the 13th century to create the Nam script to write Vietnamese. Currently, the only non Chinese language outside of China that regularly uses Chinese characters is Japanese. Vietnam abandoned their use in the early 20th century in favor of a Latin-based script, and Korea in the late 20th century in favor of its homegrown Hangul script, although as Korea switched much more recently, many Koreans still learn them to read texts written before then, or in some cases to disambiguate homophones. Japanese <inaudible> 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 Chinese characters adapted to write Japanese words are known as kanji. Chinese words borrowed into Japanese could be written with Chinese characters, while native Japanese words could also be written using the characters for a Chinese word of similar meaning. Most kanji have both the native and often multi-syllabic Japanese pronunciation, or the kunyomi, and the monosyllabic Chinese-based pronunciation, or the aniomi. For example, the native Japanese word katana is written as dao in kanji, which uses the kanji's kunyomi since the word is native to Japanese, while the Chinese loanword nahanto meaning Japanese sword is written as ri ben dao, which uses the aniomi of each character. While nowadays loanwords from non-sinosphere languages are usually just written in katakana, one of the two syllabary systems of Japanese, loanwords that were borrowed into Japanese before the Meiji period were typically written with Chinese characters whose aniomi had the same pronunciation as the loanword itself, words like America kanji, yami li ja katakana, America meaning, America, karuta kanji, gi lu duo ja lu duo katakana, karuta meaning, card, letter, and tempura kanji, tian fu luo tian fu luo katakana, tenpura meaning, tempura, although the meanings of the kanji used often had no relation to the words themselves. Kanji that are used to only represent the sounds of a word are called a teji. While foreign loanwords in Japanese words are usually written only in kana, there are some words that normally use a teji to this day, like kurabu a teji, julabu katakana, kurabu meaning, club, and sushi a teji, shosi katakana, because there have been multiple layers of borrowing into Japanese, a single character may have several readings in Japanese. Written Japanese also includes a pair of syllabaries known as kana, derived by simplifying Chinese characters selected to represent syllables of Japanese. The syllabaries differ because they sometimes selected different characters for a syllable, and because they used different strategies to reduce these characters for easy writing. The angular katakana were obtained by selecting a part of each character, while hiragana were derived from the cursive forms of whole characters. Modern Japanese writing uses a composite system, using kanji for word stems, hiragana for inflectional endings and grammatical words, and katakana to transcribe non-Chinese loanwords as well as serve as a method to emphasize native words similar to how italics are used in Romance languages. <laughs> Korean In times past, until the 15th century, in Korea, literary Chinese was the dominant form of written communication prior to the creation of Hangul, the Korean alphabet. 
Much of the vocabulary, especially in the realms of science and sociology, comes directly from Chinese, comparable to Latin or Greek root words in European languages. However, due to the lack of tones in modern standard Korean, as the words were imported from Chinese, many dissimilar characters and syllables took on identical pronunciations, and subsequently identical spelling in Hangul. Chinese characters are sometimes used to this day for either clarification in a practical manner, or to give a distinguished appearance, as knowledge of Chinese characters is considered by many Koreans a high-class attribute and an indispensable part of a classical education. It is also observed that the preference for Chinese characters is treated as being conservative and Confucian. In Korea, Hanja have become a politically contentious issue, with some Koreans urging a purification of the national language and culture by totally abandoning their use. These individuals encourage the exclusive use of the native Hangul alphabet throughout Korean society and the end to character education in public schools. Other Koreans support the revival of Hanja in everyday usage, like in the 1970s and 80s. In South Korea, educational policy on characters has swung back and forth, often swayed by education ministers' personal opinions. At present, middle and high school students grades 7 to 12 are taught 1,800 characters, albeit with the principal focus on recognition, with the aim of achieving newspaper literacy. There is a clear trend toward the exclusive use of Hangul in day-to-day -day South Korean society. Hanja are still used to some extent, particularly in newspapers, weddings, place names and calligraphy although it is nowhere near the extent of kanji use in day-to-day -day Japanese society. Hanja is also extensively used in situations where ambiguity must be avoided, such as academic papers, high level corporate reports, government documents, and newspapers. This is due to the large number of homonyms that have resulted from extensive borrowing of Chinese words. The issue of ambiguity is the main hurdle in any effort to cleanse the Korean language of Chinese characters. Characters convey meaning visually, while alphabets convey guidance to pronunciation, which in turn hints at meaning. As an example, in Korean dictionaries, the phonetic entry for Giza Gisa yields more than 30 different entries. In the past, this ambiguity had been efficiently resolved by parenthetically displaying the associated hanja. While hanja is sometimes used for Sino-Korean vocabulary, native Korean words are rarely, if ever, written in hanja. When learning how to write hanja, students are taught to memorize the native Korean pronunciation for the hanja's meaning and the Sino-Korean pronunciations the pronunciation based on the Chinese pronunciation of the characters for each hanja respectively so that students know what the syllable and meaning is for a particular hanja. For example, the name for the hanja shui is mul su, mul su in which mul, mul is the native Korean pronunciation for water, while su, su is the Sino-Korean pronunciation of the character. The naming of hanja is similar to if water were named water aqua, horse equus, or gold orum, based on a hybridization of both the English and the Latin names. Other examples include salam in, serum in for ren, person, people, kayan day kayan day for da, big, large, great, jagul so jagul so for shao, small, little, alay ha array ha for sha, underneath, below, low. Abi bu abi bu for fu father and nalilium han naririum han for han han korea in north korea the hanja system was once completely banned since june 1949 due to fears of collapsed containment of the country during the 1950s kim il sung had condemned all sorts of foreign languages even the newly proposed new korean orthography the ban continued into the 21st century However, a textbook for university history departments containing 3,323 distinct characters was published in 1971. In the 1990s, school children were still expected to learn 2,000 characters more than in South Korea or Japan. After Kim Jong il, the second ruler of North Korea, died in December 2011, Kim Jong un stepped up and began mandating the use of hanja as a source of definition for the Korean language. Currently, it is said that North Korea teaches around 3,000 hanja characters to North Korean students, and in some cases, the characters appear within advertisements and newspapers. However, it is also said that the authorities implore students not to use the characters in public. Due to North Korea's strict isolationism, accurate reports about hanja use in North Korea are hard to obtain. Okinawan. 
Chinese characters are thought to have been first introduced to the Ryukyu Islands in 1265 by a Japanese Buddhist monk. After the Okinawan kingdoms became tributaries of Ming China, especially the Ryukyu Kingdom, classical Chinese was used in court documents, but hiragana was mostly used for popular writing and poetry. After Ryukyu became a vassal of Japan's Satsuma domain, Chinese characters became more popular, as well as the use of kanban. In modern Okinawan, which is labeled as a Japanese dialect by the Japanese government, katakana and hiragana are mostly used to write Okinawan, but Chinese characters are still used. Vietnamese Although Chinese characters in Vietnam are now limited to ceremonial uses, they were once in widespread use. Until the early 20th century, literary Chinese was used in Vietnam for all official and scholarly writing. Around the 13th century the Nam script was developed to record folk literature in the Vietnamese language. The script used Chinese characters to represent both borrowed Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary and native words with similar pronunciation or meaning. In addition thousands of new compound characters were created to write Vietnamese words. This process resulted in a highly complex system that was never mastered by more than 5% of the population. Both literary Chinese and Nam were replaced in the early 20th century by Vietnamese written with the Latin-based Vietnamese alphabet. Other languages Several minority languages of South and Southwest China were formerly written with scripts based on Chinese characters but also including many locally created characters. The most extensive is the Sandip script for the Zhuang language of Guangxi which is still used to this day. Other languages written with such scripts include Miao, Yao, Buye, Mulam, Kam, Bai and Hani. All these languages are now written using Latin-based scripts, while Chinese characters are still used for the Mulam language. Even today for Zhuang, according to survey, the traditional Sandip script has twice as many users as the official Latin script. The foreign dynasties that ruled northern China between the 10th and 13th centuries developed scripts that were inspired by Chinese characters but did not use them directly, the Khitan large script, Khitan small script, Tangut script and Yurchin script. Other scripts in China that borrowed or adapted a few Chinese characters but are otherwise distinct include Geba script, Sui script, Yi script and the Lisu syllabary. Transcription of foreign languages Along with Persian and Arabic, Chinese characters were also used as a foreign script to write the Mongolian language, where characters were used to phonetically transcribe Mongolian sounds. Most notably, the only surviving copies of the secret history of the Mongols were written in such a manner. The Chinese characters Mang Huo Lun Niu Cha Tuo Bo Cha and Pinyin, Mang Gualuniu Cha Tuo Bo Cha An, is the rendering of Mong Gamma O L Un Ni Gamma U C A Tobsian, the title in Mongolian. Chinese characters were also used to phonetically transcribe the Manchu language in the Qing dynasty. According to the Rev. John Gulick, the inhabitants of other Asiatic nations, who have had occasion to represent the words of their several languages by Chinese characters, have as a rule used unaspirated characters for the sounds, g, d, b. The Muslims from Arabia and Persia have followed this method. The Mongols, Manchu, and Japanese also constantly select unaspirated characters to represent the sounds G, D, B, and J of their languages. These surrounding Asiatic nations, in writing Chinese words in their own alphabets, have uniformly used G, D, B, etc., to represent the unaspirated sounds. Simplification Chinese character simplification is the overall reduction of the number of strokes in the regular script of a set of Chinese characters. Topic: <laughs> Simplification in China. The use of traditional Chinese characters versus simplified Chinese characters varies greatly and can depend on both the local customs and the medium. Before the official reform, character simplifications were not officially sanctioned and generally adopted vulgar variants and idiosyncratic substitutions. 
Orthodox variants were mandatory in printed works, while the unofficial simplified characters would be used in everyday writing or quick notes. Since the 1950s, and especially with the publication of the 1964 list, the People's Republic of China has officially adopted simplified Chinese characters for use in mainland China, while Hong Kong, Macau, and the Republic of China Taiwan were not affected by the reform. There is no absolute rule for using either system, and often it is determined by what the target audience understands, as well as the upbringing of the writer. Although most often associated with the People's Republic of China, character simplification predates the 1949 Communist victory. Kaoshu, cursive written text, almost always includes character simplification, and simplified forms have always existed in print, albeit not for the most formal works. In the 1930s and 1940s, discussions on character simplification took place within the Kuomintang government, and a large number of Chinese intellectuals and writers have long maintained that character simplification would help boost literacy in China. Indeed, this desire by the Kuomintang to simplify the Chinese writing system inherited and implemented by the Communist Party of China also nursed aspirations of some for the adoption of a phonetic script based on the Latin script, and spawned such inventions as the Guayu Romatsai. The People's Republic of China issued its first round of official character simplifications in two documents, the first in 1956 and the second in 1964. A second round of character simplifications known as Urgean, or second round simplified characters, was promulgated in 1977. It was poorly received, and in 1986 the authorities rescinded the second round completely, while making six revisions to the 1964 list, including the restoration of three traditional characters that had been simplified, Dada, -da, Fu Fu, Shang Shang. The majority of simplified characters are drawn from conventional abbreviated forms, or ancient standard forms. For example, the orthodox character Lai Lai come was written with the structure li in the clerical script, li shu li shu li shu of the Han dynasty. This clerical form uses one fewer stroke, and was thus adopted as a simplified form. The character yun yun, cloud, was written with the structure yun in the oracle bone script of the Shang dynasty, and had remained in use later as a phonetic loan in the meaning of to say, while the u radical was added to differentiate meanings. The simplified form adopts the original structure. Topic. Japanese kanji In the years after World War II, the Japanese government also instituted a series of orthographic reforms. Some characters were given simplified forms called shinjitai, shin zt lit, new character forms. The older forms were then labeled the kaiujitai, ju zt lit, old character forms. The number of characters in common use was restricted, and formal lists of characters to be learned during each grade of school were established. First, the 1850 character Toyo Kanji list in 1945, the 1945 character Joyo Kanji list in 1981, and a 2136 character reformed version of the Joyo Kanji in 2010. Many variant forms of characters and obscure alternatives for common characters were officially discouraged. This was done with the goal of facilitating learning for children and simplifying kanji use in literature and periodicals. These are simply guidelines, hence many characters outside these standards are still widely known and commonly used, especially those used for personal and place names for the latter, see Jinmyo kanji, as well as for some common words such as dragon, long long tatsu, in which both old and new forms of the kanji are both acceptable and widely known amongst native Japanese speakers. Topic. Southeast Asian Chinese communities Singapore underwent three successive rounds of character simplification. These resulted in some simplifications that differed from those used in mainland China. It ultimately adopted the reforms of the People's Republic of China in their entirety as official, and has implemented them in the educational system. However, unlike in China, personal names may still be registered in traditional characters. Malaysia started teaching a set of simplified characters at schools in 1981, which were also completely identical to the mainland China simplifications. Chinese newspapers in Malaysia are published in either set of characters, typically with the headlines in traditional Chinese while the body is in simplified Chinese. 
Although in both countries the use of simplified characters is universal among the younger Chinese generation, a large majority of the older Chinese literate generation still use the traditional characters. Chinese shop signs are also generally written in traditional characters. In the Philippines, most Chinese schools and businesses still use the traditional characters and bopomofo, owing from influence from the Republic of China Taiwan due to the shared Hokkien heritage. Recently, however, more Chinese schools now use both simplified characters and pinyin. Since most readers of Chinese newspapers in the Philippines belong to the older generation, they are still published largely using traditional characters. North America Public and private Chinese signage in the United States and Canada most often use traditional characters. There is some effort to get municipal governments to implement more simplified character signage due to recent immigration from mainland China. Most community newspapers printed in North America are also printed in traditional characters. Topic. Comparisons of traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, and Japanese The following is a comparison of Chinese characters in the standard form of national characters, a common traditional Chinese standard used in Taiwan, the table of general standard Chinese characters, the standard for mainland Chinese simplified Chinese characters, and the Joyo Kanji, the standard for Japanese Kanji. Generally, the joyo kanji are more similar to traditional Chinese characters than simplified Chinese characters are to traditional Chinese characters. Simplified refers to having significant differences from the Taiwan standard, not necessarily being a newly created character or a newly performed substitution. The characters in the Hong Kong standard and the Kangxi dictionary are also known as traditional, but are not shown. Topic. Written styles There are numerous styles, or scripts, in which Chinese characters can be written, deriving from various calligraphic and historical models. Most of these originated in China and are now common, with minor variations, in all countries where Chinese characters are used. The Shang Dynasty Oracle Bones script and the Zhou Dynasty scripts found on Chinese bronze inscriptions are no longer used. The oldest script that is still in use today is the seal script, Zhuan Shu Zhuan Shu Zhuan Shu. It evolved organically out of the spring and autumn period Zhou script, and was adopted in a standardized form under the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. The seal script, as the name suggests, is now used only in artistic seals. Few people are still able to read it effortlessly today, although the art of carving a traditional seal in the script remains alive, some calligraphers also work in this style. Scripts that are still used regularly are the clerical script Li Shu Li Shu Li Shu of the Qin dynasty to the Han dynasty, the Weibei, 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 the regular script, Kai Shu, Kai Shu, Kai Shu, which is used mostly for printing, and the semi-cursive script. Xing Shu Xing Shu Xing Shu, used mostly for handwriting. The cursive script, Sao Shu Sao Shu Kao Shu, literally, grass script, is used informally. The basic character shapes are suggested, rather than explicitly realized, and the abbreviations are sometimes extreme. Despite being cursive to the point where individual strokes are no longer differentiable and the characters often illegible to the untrained eye, this script also known as draft is highly revered for the beauty and freedom that it embodies. Some of the simplified Chinese characters adopted by the People's Republic of China, and some simplified characters used in Japan, are derived from the cursive script. The Japanese hiragana script is also derived from this script. There also exist scripts created outside China, such as the Japanese etymoji styles, these have tended to remain restricted to their countries of origin, rather than spreading to other countries like the Chinese scripts. Calligraphy The art of writing Chinese characters is called Chinese calligraphy. It is usually done with ink brushes. In ancient China, Chinese calligraphy is one of the four arts of the Chinese scholars. There is a minimalist set of rules of Chinese calligraphy. Every character from the Chinese scripts is built into a uniform shape by means of assigning it a geometric area in which the character must occur. 
Each character has a set number of brush strokes, none must be added or taken away from the character to enhance it visually, lest the meaning be lost. Finally, strict regularity is not required, meaning the strokes may be accentuated for dramatic effect of individual style. Calligraphy was the means by which scholars could mark their thoughts and teachings for immortality, and as such, represent some of the most precious treasures that can be found from ancient China. Topography and design There are three major families of typefaces used in Chinese topography. Song, Ming Sans Serif Regular script Ming and sans serif are the most popular in body text and are based on regular script for Chinese characters akin to Western serif and sans serif typefaces, respectively. Regular script typefaces emulate regular script. The Song typeface, Song Ti Song Ti Song Tai, is known as the Ming typeface, Ming Chao Mincho in Japan, and it is also somewhat more commonly known as the Ming typeface, Ming Ti Ming Ti Ming Tai, than the Song typeface in Taiwan and Hong Kong. The names of these styles come from the Song and Ming dynasties, when block printing flourished in China. Sans serif typefaces, called black typeface, Hei Ti Hei Ti Hai Tai in Chinese and Gothic typeface, Goshaku Ti in Japanese, are characterized by simple lines of even thickness for each stroke, akin to sans serif styles such as Arial and Helvetica in Western topography. Regular script typefaces are also commonly used, but not as common as Ming or sans serif typefaces for body text. Regular script typefaces are often used to teach students Chinese characters, and often aim to match the standard forms of the region where they are meant to be used. Most typefaces in the Song dynasty were regular script typefaces which resembled a particular person's handwriting e.g. the handwriting of Uyang Xuan, Yan Zhenqing, or Lu Gongchen, while most modern regular script typefaces tend toward anonymity and regularity. Variants Just as Roman letters have a characteristic shape lowercase letters mostly occupying the X height, with ascenders or descenders on some letters, Chinese characters occupy a more or less square area in which the components of every character are written to fit in order to maintain a uniform size and shape, especially with small printed characters in Ming and sans serif styles. Because of this, beginners often practice writing on squared graph paper, and the Chinese sometimes use the term square block characters, fang kue zi, fang kue zi, fang kue zi, sometimes translated as tetragraph, in reference to Chinese characters. Despite standardization, some non-standard forms are commonly used, especially in handwriting. In older sources, even authoritative ones, variant characters are commonplace. For example, in the preface to the Imperial Dictionary, there are 30 variant characters which are not found in the dictionary itself. A few of these are reproduced at right. Topic: <inaudible> Regional Standards. The nature of Chinese characters makes it very easy to produce allographs, variants for many characters, and there have been many efforts at orthographical standardization throughout history. In recent times, the widespread usage of the characters in several nations has prevented any particular system becoming universally adopted and the standard form of many Chinese characters thus varies in different regions. Mainland China adopted simplified Chinese characters in 1956. They are also used in Singapore and Malaysia. Traditional Chinese characters are used in Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan. Post-war Japan has used its own less drastically simplified characters, Shinjitai, since 1946, while South Korea has limited its use of Chinese characters, and Vietnam and North Korea have completely abolished their use in favor of Vietnamese alphabet and Hangul, respectively. The standard character forms of each region are described in The list of frequently used characters in modern Chinese for mainland China The list of forms of frequently used characters for Hong Kong the standard form of national characters for Taiwan. The list of Joyo Kanji for Japan. The Han Han De Seijon de facto for Korea. In addition to strictness in character size and shape, Chinese characters are written with very precise rules. The most important rules regard the strokes employed, stroke placement, and stroke order. Just as each region that uses Chinese characters has standardized character forms, each also has standardized stroke orders, with each standard being different. 
Most characters can be written with just one correct stroke order, though some words also have many valid stroke orders, which may occasionally result in different stroke counts. Some characters are also written with different stroke orders due to character simplification. Topic: <laughs> Polysyllabic morphemes. Chinese characters are primarily morphosyllabic, meaning that most Chinese morphemes are monosyllabic and are written with a single character, though in modern Chinese most words are disyllabic and dimorphemic, consisting of two syllables, each of which is a morpheme. In modern Chinese 10% of morphemes only occur as part of a given compound. However, a few morphemes are disyllabic, some of them dating back to classical Chinese. Excluding foreign loan words, these are typically words for plants and small animals. They are usually written with a pair of phono-semantic compound characters sharing a common radical. Examples are hu dia hu dia, butterfly, and shan hu shan hu, coral. Note that the hu hu of hu dia and the hu hu of shan hu have the same phonetic hu but different radicals, insect and jade, respectively. Neither exists as an independent morpheme except as a poetic abbreviation of the disyllabic word. Topic polysyllabic characters In certain cases compound words and set phrases may be contracted into single characters. Some of these can be considered logograms, where characters represent whole words rather than syllable morphemes, though these are generally instead considered ligatures or abbreviations similar to scribal abbreviations, such as and for et, and as non-standard. These do see use, particularly in handwriting or decoration, but also in some cases in print. In Chinese, these ligatures are called evan, hei wen eshu, hei shu or edizi, hei tz and in the special case of combining two characters, these are known as two-syllable Chinese characters. Shuang yin jie han zi shuang yin jie han zi A commonly seen example is the double happiness symbol shi, formed as a ligature of shi shi and referred to by its disyllabic name simplified Chinese, shuang shi traditional Chinese, shuang shi pinyin, shuang shi. In handwriting, numbers are very frequently squeezed into one space or combined. Common ligatures include nian nian, 20, normally read as er shi or shi, sa sa, 30, normally read as san shi san shi, and shi shi, 40, normally read as si shi si shi. Calendars often use numeral ligatures in order to save space, for example, the 21st of March can be read as san yun yan yi. In some cases counters are also merged into one character, such as qi shi ren qi shi ren, 70 people. Another common abbreviation is men with a t written inside it, for when t, when t when t question, problem, where the t is from pinyin for the second syllable t t. Since polysyllabic characters are often non-standard, they are often excluded in character dictionaries. Modern examples particularly include Chinese characters for SI units. In Chinese these units are disyllabic and standardly written with two characters, as li mi li mi centimeter, li centi, mi meter or qian hua qian hua kilowatt. However, in the 19th century these were often written via compound characters, pronounced disyllabically, such as qian for qian hua or li for li mi. Some of these characters were also used in Japan, where they were pronounced with borrowed European readings instead. These have now fallen out of general use, but are occasionally seen. Less systematic examples include tu tu guan library, a contraction of tu shu guan, a four morpheme word, shi wei zu yi shi wei zu yi socialism, is commonly written with a single character formed by combining the last character, yi with the radical of the first, qi yielding roughly shi yi. The use of such contractions is as old as Chinese characters themselves, and they have frequently been found in religious or ritual use. In the oracle bone script, personal names, ritual items, and even phrases such as show you, you show you, receive blessings are commonly contracted into single characters. A dramatic example is that in medieval manuscripts pusa pusa, bodhisattva, simplified, pusa is sometimes written with a single character formed of a 2 times 2 grid of 4 shi derived from the grass radical over 2 shi. However, for the sake of consistency and standardization, the CPC seeks to limit the use of such polysyllabic characters in public writing to ensure that every character only has one syllable. Conversely, with the fusion of the diminutive or suffix in Mandarin, some monosyllabic words may even be written with two characters, as in wa er war, flower, which was formerly disyllabic. 
In most other languages that use the Chinese family of scripts, notably Korean, Vietnamese, and Zhuang, Chinese characters are typically monosyllabic, but in Japanese a single character is generally used to represent a borrowed monosyllabic Chinese morpheme the aniomi, and polysyllabic native Japanese morpheme the kuniomi, or even in rare cases, a foreign loanword. These uses are completely standard and unexceptional. Rare and complex characters Often a character not commonly used a rare or variant character will appear in a personal or place name in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese see Chinese name, Japanese name, Korean name, and Vietnamese name, respectively. This has caused problems as many computer encoding systems include only the most common characters and exclude the less often used characters. This is especially a problem for personal names which often contain rare or classical, antiquated characters. One man who has encountered this problem is Taiwanese politician Yu Shai Kun, due to the rarity of the last character in his name. Newspapers have dealt with this problem in varying ways, including using software to combine two existing, similar characters, including a picture of the personality, or, especially as is the case with Yu Shai Kun, simply substituting a homophone for the rare character in the hope that the reader would be able to make the correct inference. Taiwanese political posters, movie posters etc. will often add the Bopomofo phonetic symbols next to such a character. Japanese newspapers may render such names and words in katakana instead of kanji, and it is accepted practice for people to write names for which they are unsure of the correct kanji in katakana instead. There are also some extremely complex characters which have understandably become rather rare. According to Joel Bellasson 1989, the most complex Chinese character is JU plus 2A6A5 J listen, meaning verbose. And containing 64 strokes, this character fell from use around the 5th century. It might be argued, however, that while containing the most strokes, it is not necessarily the most complex character in terms of difficulty, as it simply requires writing the same 16-stroke character long long lit dragon four times in the space for one. Another 64-stroke character is Zheng Yu plus 2053B Zheng composed of Xing 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 lit flourish four times. One of the most complex characters found in modern Chinese dictionaries is Nong U plus 9 F49 Nong, listen, pictured below, middle image, meaning snuffle, that is, a pronunciation marred by a blocked nose, with just 36 strokes. However, this is not in common use. The most complex character that can be input using the Microsoft New Phonetic EMA 2002A for traditional Chinese is Da Da, the appearance of a dragon flying. It is composed of the dragon radical represented three times, for a total of 16 times 3 equals 48 strokes. Among the most complex characters in modern dictionaries and also in frequent modern use are U, U to implore, with 32 strokes, U U, luxuriant, lush, gloomy, with 29 strokes, as in U U, U U, depressed, Yan Yan, colorful, with 28 strokes, and Shin, Shin, quarrel. With 25 strokes, as in Tiao Shin, Tiao Shin, to pick a fight. Also in occasional modern use is Xian, Xian, fresh, variant of Xian, Xian, with 33 strokes. In Japanese, an 84-stroke kouji exists, normally read Taito. It is composed of three cloud yun characters on top of the above-mentioned triple dragon character, the also meaning the appearance of a dragon in flight. It has been pronounced ototo ototo, taito taito, and dato dato. The most elaborate character in the Joyo kanji list is the 29 stroke u, meaning depression or melancholy. The most complex Chinese character still in use may be biang, pictured right, bottom, with 58 strokes, which refers to biang biang noodles, a type of noodle from China's Shaanxi province. This character along with the syllable biang cannot be found in dictionaries. The fact that it represents a syllable that does not exist in any standard Chinese word means that it could be classified as a dialectal character. Number of characters 
The total number of Chinese characters from past to present remains unknowable because new ones are being developed all the time, for instance, brands may create new characters when none of the existing ones allow for the intended meaning, or they have been invented by whoever wrote them and have never been adopted as official characters. Chinese characters are theoretically an open set and anyone can create new characters, though such inventions are rarely included in official character sets. The number of entries in major Chinese dictionaries is the best means of estimating the historical growth of character inventory. Even the Zonghua Zaihai does not include characters in the Chinese family of scripts created to represent non-Chinese languages, except the unique characters in use in Japan and Korea. Characters formed by Chinese principles in other languages include the roughly 1,500 Japanese-made kouji given in the kouji Noja 10, the Korean-made gukya, the over 10,000 Sondip characters still in use in Guangxi, and the almost 20,000 Nam characters formerly used in Vietnam. More divergent descendants of Chinese script include Tangut script, which created over 5,000 characters with similar strokes but different formation principles to Chinese characters. Modified radicals and new variants are two common reasons for the ever-increasing number of characters. There are about 300 radicals and 100 are in common use. Creating a new character by modifying the radical is an easy way to disambiguate homographs among Xingshengxi pictophonetic compounds. This practice began long before the standardization of Chinese script by Qin Shi Huang and continues to the present day. The traditional third-person pronoun ta, he, she, it, which is written with the person radical, illustrates modifying significs to form new characters. In modern usage, there is a graphic distinction between ta, the, she, with the woman radical, ta, the, it, with the animal radical, ta, the, it, with the roof radical, and ta, the, he, with the deity radical. One consequence of modifying radicals is the fossilization of rare and obscure variant logographs, some of which are not even used in classical Chinese. For instance, he he, harmony, peace, which combines the grain radical with the mouth radical, has infrequent variants he with the radicals reversed and he with the flute radical. Topic: <laughs> Chinese. Chinese characters should not be confused with Chinese words, as the majority of modern Chinese words, unlike their Old Chinese and Middle Chinese counterparts, are written with two or more characters, each character representing one syllable and or morpheme. Knowing the meanings of the individual characters of a word will often allow the general meaning of the word to be inferred, but this is not always the case. Studies in China have shown that literate individuals know and use between 3,000 and 4,000 characters. Specialists in classical literature or history, who would often encounter characters no longer in use, are estimated to have a working vocabulary of between 5,000 and 6,000 characters. In China, which uses simplified Chinese characters, the Shundai Hanyu Chang Yang Zibiao, Xian Dai Han Yu Chang Yang Zibiao Chart of Common Characters of Modern Chinese lists 2,500 common characters and 1,000 less than common characters, while the Shundai Hanyu Tang Yang Zibiao, Xian Dai Han Yu Tang Tong Yang Zibiao chart of generally utilized characters of modern Chinese lists 7,000 characters, including the 3,500 characters already listed above. GB2312, an early version of the national encoding standard used in the People's Republic of China, has 6,763 code points. GB18030, the modern, mandatory standard, has a much higher number. The new Hanyu Shuping Kaoshi, Hanyu Shui Ping Kaoshi Chinese Proficiency Test covers approximately 2,600 characters at its highest level, level 6, in the Republic of China, Taiwan, which uses traditional Chinese characters. The Ministry of Education's Changyang Guozi Biaojun Ziti Biao, Changyang Guozi Biao Zun Ziti Biao Chart of Standard Forms of Common National Characters lists 4,808 characters. The Si Changyang Guozi Biaojun Ziti Biao, Si Chang Yang Guo Zi Biao Zun Zi Ti Biao Chart of Standard Forms of Less Than Common National Characters lists another 6,341 characters. The Chinese Standard Interchange Code CNS 11643, the official national encoding standard, 
supports 48,027 characters, while the most widely used encoding scheme, Big 5, supports only 13,053. In Hong Kong, which uses traditional Chinese characters, the Education and Manpower Bureau's Sengjing Zi Zijing Biu, Chang Yang Zi Zi Xing Biao intended for use in elementary and junior secondary education, lists a total of 4,759 characters. In addition, there are a number of dialect characters Fang Yan Zi that are not used in formal written Chinese but represent colloquial terms in non-Mandarin varieties of Chinese. One such variety is written Cantonese, in widespread use in Hong Kong even for certain formal documents, due to the former British colonial administration's recognition of Cantonese for use for official purposes. In Taiwan, there is also a body of characters used to represent Taiwanese Hokkien. Many varieties have specific characters for words exclusive to them. For example, the vernacular character Shi, pronounced CII 11 in Hakka, means to kill. Furthermore, Shanghainese and Sichuanese also have their own series of characters, but these are not widely used in actual texts, Mandarin being the preference for all mainland regions. Japanese In Japanese there are 2,136 Joyo Kanji, Chang Yang Hanzi lit. Frequently used Kanji. Designated by the Japanese Ministry of Education, these are taught during primary and secondary school. The list is a recommendation, not a restriction, and many characters missing from it are still in common use. One area where character usage is officially restricted is in names, which may contain only government approved characters. Since the Joyo Kanji list excludes many characters that have been used in personal and place names for generations, an additional list, referred to as the Jinmyo Kanji, Renming Yang Han Zi lit. Kanji for use in personal names is published. It currently contains 983 characters. Today, a well educated Japanese person may know upwards of 3,500 kanji. The kanji kente, ri ben han zi nen li jian ding shi yan ni han kanji noryoku kente shikan or test of Japanese kanji aptitude tests a speaker's ability to read and write kanji. The highest level of the kanji kente tests on approximately 6,000 kanji, though in practice few people attain or need to attain this level. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern creation. New characters can, in principle, be coined at any time, just as new words can be, but they may not be adopted. Significant historically recent coinages date to scientific terms of the 19th century. Specifically, Chinese coined new characters for chemical elements, see chemical elements in East Asian languages, which continue to be used and taught in schools in China and Taiwan. In Japan, in the Meiji era specifically, late 19th century, new characters were coined for some but not all SI units, such as qian meter, plus qian thousand, kilo, for kilometer. These kouji Japanese coinages have found use in China as well, see Chinese characters for SI units for details. While new characters can be easily coined by writing on paper, they are difficult to represent on a computer, they must generally be represented as a picture, rather than as text, which presents a significant barrier to their use or widespread adoption. Compare this with the use of symbols as names in 20th century musical albums such as Led Zeppelin IV and Love Symbol Album .An album cover may potentially contain any graphics, but in writing and other computation these symbols are difficult to use. <laughs> Indexing Dozens of indexing schemes have been created for arranging Chinese characters in Chinese dictionaries. The great majority of these schemes have appeared in only a single dictionary, only one such system has achieved truly widespread use. This is the system of radicals see for example, the 214 so-called Kangxi radicals. Chinese character dictionaries often allow users to locate entries in several ways. Many Chinese, Japanese, and Korean dictionaries of Chinese characters list characters in radical order, characters are grouped together by radical, and radicals containing fewer strokes come before radicals containing more strokes radical and stroke sorting. Under each radical, characters are listed by their total number of strokes. 
It is often also possible to search for characters by sound, using pinyin in Chinese dictionaries, zuyin in Taiwanese dictionaries, kana in Japanese dictionaries, or hangul in Korean dictionaries. Most dictionaries also allow searches by total number of strokes, and individual dictionaries often allow other search methods as well. For instance, to look up the character where the sound is not known, e.g., song pine tree, the user first determines which part of the character is the radical here mu, then counts the number of strokes in the radical four, and turns to the radical index usually located on the inside front or back cover of the dictionary. Under the number four for radical stroke count, the user locates mu, then turns to the page number listed, which is the start of the listing of all the characters containing this radical. This page will have a sub-index giving remainder stroke numbers for the non-radical portions of characters and page numbers. The right half of the character also contains four strokes, so the user locates the number four, and turns to the page number given. From there, the user must scan the entries to locate the character he or she is seeking. Some dictionaries have a sub-index which lists every character containing each radical, and if the user knows the number of strokes in the non-radical portion of the character, he or she can locate the correct page directly. Another dictionary system is the four-corner method, where characters are classified according to the shape of each of the four corners. Most modern Chinese dictionaries and Chinese dictionaries sold to English speakers use the traditional radical-based character index in a section at the front, while the main body of the dictionary arranges the main character entries alphabetically according to their pinyin spelling. To find a character with unknown sound using one of these dictionaries, the reader finds the radical and stroke number of the character, as before, and locates the character in the radical index. The character's entry will have the character's pronunciation in pinyin written down. The reader then turns to the main dictionary section and looks up the pinyin spelling alphabetically. Topic: See also Adoption of Chinese literary culture Chinese family of scripts Character amnesia Chinese character encoding Chinese input methods for computers Chinese numerals, or how to write numbers with Chinese characters Chinese punctuation Eight principles of Yang Horizontal and vertical writing in East Asian scripts List of languages written in Chinese characters and derivatives of Chinese characters Romanization of Chinese Transcription into Chinese characters Notes <laughs>